Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a quick talk about uh, Edge Chromium, the new Edge browser from Microsoft. So, of course, there's the stable version that we call, which is the version for everybody. Well, the stable version was at uh, version 80 for a while. Well, now the stable version of Edge uh, Chromium is now at version 81. It was updated yesterday. So if you want to know if you have the latest one or not, just go to the uh, upper right corner in your Edge browser. Go about help and feedback and about Microsoft Edge. And it will update if it has not been updated yet. So you should be at 81.0.416.53. This is uh, what was the uh, build for the beta version. So this is the new version. There's really not a lot or pretty much nothing new in here much for most people. Uh, there's developer tools that have changed, but apart from that, you still have the same good old browser with its privacy options and so on and the uh, Edge um, Chromium side of things. So uh, we talked about it. We talked about how you know it's different and it also is... Uh, much more um, oriented towards privacy. So if you want to try it out, well, you can uh, check it out. It's available for free. I will post a link to where you can download it. Um, as for questions that I get regularly about this new uh, browser, uh, one of them is, yeah, okay, is there, um, you know, anything... Um, it, when is it going to, you know, get into the main uh, place, the main uh, windows and be included in windows? Well, eventually it's going to roll out. It's still not available automatically to anyone, but it will eventually be the case. So uh, this is, of course, something that is uh, going to roll out eventually. It's not technically coming with version 2004 also. A lot of people say, is it going to be there? Nope. One of the things that you should check out is the uh, collections feature in uh, Chrome 81. Collections is a really nice option. So what happens is uh, you can add to the different, um, you know, create a new collection of websites, for example, and add whatever websites you want to add to it in its different options and give uh, these collections of course a name so you can say well uh, i like uh, astronomy so let's start an astronomy uh, tab and then we'll go to different websites that have the subjects i want to talk about so i'll add this page which is space.com and then i can uh, there's a sp space weather that i will add also here we go add current page so spaceweather.com here we go and so this, of course, creates um, sets of websites that can be easily um, going through uh, on the right side of your screen in the collections feature. So this is a nice option in the uh, Edge browser. And, uh, well, a lot more. I think it's worth it to check out and it's worth it to uh, take a look at the browser. So like I said, the browser, the link to the download of the browser, if you want to try it, is in the description below the video. Remember that if you do try it, it doesn't affect anything else. So if you're using Chrome or any other browser and want to try Edge, it will not affect that a browser you're using right now. And if you're using the original Edge, uh, this will actually replace the old Edge. And if you don't like it, you can remove it or uninstall it, which means it will reinstall the old Edge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.